Okay, our next piece, our 10th prehistoric piece is the Talatico female figurine, and it is found here in central Mexico. So we're really getting around the world in this prehistory unit. I love it. I hope you appreciate this diversity that we're getting exposed to. The context for the Talatico figurine is the central Mexico region, as I say, and this is um, a region or a culture called the Tlaxico culture. And in Nahuatl, which is the language of the indigenous peoples of Central America, this is called the place of the hidden things. So um, this is the same area that where the Aztecs lived and the Aztecs would have lived here um, 2,000 or so years later. Okay, so very popular place in terms of one culture and after another living here. Okay, in the next piece or next slide, I'd like you to notice what you would say would be the commonalities of these three figurines shown here. I would hope you would notice just the size of the appendages, the size of the thighs, um, the size of the waists. These are um, the, the shape of the eyes and the fanciness of the headdress. So there's there's something about these figurines that make them a real integral part of their culture. And they are relatively common. So I'm I'm going to show you multiple of these here in this video. They were made by women, and we know this to be true because uh, the ceramic you know, clay would have, was molded by hand and the thumbprints left in the clay were those of women. And interestingly, the subjects themselves are also uh, women. There are very few men. In fact, I don't even, I don't have a picture of any man. And oftentimes um, I've read the men are covered up with uh, clothing and um, head dressings that kind of make them look like they might have been priests. Okay, I've addressed some of form already, but let's just make sure we address it di really directly. So the form of the Talactico female figurine is that we have this body shape that is really not very elaborately made, uh, the, but it has this commonality of really large thighs, narrow waist, um, shorter arms. This one in particular is standing. It's not taking any action. And it has a bifurcated face. So, and, oh, and it has a pretty elaborate hair uh, style. So looking more at this bifurcation, bifurcation or bifurcation, uh, bifurcated means a division into two branches. And so our figurine is bifurcated and the face is divided into two. We have one central eye that is shared among the two faces, but two noses, two mouths, um, and then the ear, I guess, is also shared. So is the hair. Kind of interesting. Love that. Um where these other samples, the heads are completely separate. So bifurcation is kind of more complete. Um, notice on all of these, I've mentioned this already in the first sample that we looked at, that the bodies are really not elaborate, where the hair and the, the heads, the faces, are way more elaborate. So there's a lot, this, this is a reflection of culture, we would think. And so they valued um, these pieces of, uh, you know, so different aspects of the body for beauty. Looking at content and function here, these two sample 
female figurines are showing a large stomach. And so we would wonder, probably um, pregnant. And does this mean the function of these is to enhance fertility? Not all of them have, you know, a pregnant uh, are, are pregnant. And so I'm not sure if if that's we're not sure if that's the case. Rather, is the function of these female figurines to just demonstrate the the life of women in uh, the Tlatico culture? So in looking at these other samples, we see this woman is holding a baby. This woman is holding a cat or a dog? Dog. And then this is a, uh, a smaller figurine that is in uh, a cradle, a crib, cradle. So not pregnant, but showing perhaps the life of a woman. Went the wrong way. And then we have this other, here's another uh, female figurine. And the function here is... Um, or excuse me, her action here is that she's a performer, maybe doing yoga. Uh, maybe this is the lifestyle of women in Talactico. They exercise and they are very limber. Ultimately, these were found in buried in, in graves. So the ultimate function of these figurines is somehow to accompany the dead. So Talatico figure made by women featuring women. Kind of interesting. Okay.